Hello ladies and gents. Welcome back to my network. Uh, this new poem for 2014, April 2014, Poetry Month, is called the International Wind and Solar Energy Act. Pollution levels are rising. Our economy here in the state is misbehaving. State of Florida. Behavioral economics are not working. Lately, everyone's slacking. And is letting FPL get away with hazardous natural gas in this state. Take a look at some of the sidewalks or the sides of the road when you drive because it's against the law of the land. This should be a major concern to you because it still is under the same consequences of hydraulic fracturing, which is known as fracking. It is unhealthy for you, the state residents, your water, agriculture, and our air. Just because it produces less GHGs does not mean it's the best influence. We can stand up and use that voice to be heard and to stand up for our environmental rights, even though shale produces potent GHGs anyway. FPL did announce solar power, and we are seeing the production of in a larger number. With solar power, there are photovoltaic panels that produces no GHGs when processing electricity from using the sun and its heat. And that has nothing to do with fracking. I just don't understand FPL's commercial on how it has anything to do with natural gas. I can tell you that I am seeing some better outcomes with buildings along the new river that has wind turbines on the roofing system on greener sustainability that produces electricity and power for that grid. We are trying to come along, but we need to better ourselves along with this outcome by reducing our own footprint and cutting down on cigarette smoking, which is one of them, especially when it comes to e-cigarettes and cigars lately. FPL is imposing the wrong unhealthy influence with that advertisement, and we shouldn't be manipulated by this haphazard, since after all, this can be labeled as physical harassment and our human right to live and is against ethical sources of better eco-sustainability. I know, since I am always deep in thought, with every piece of environmental research, on the rate of what we are dealing with, environmental and health threats, every day of our life. I don't know if all of you are ready to hear all the data of scientific terminology, because, but these pollutants have been consistent until you realize what you have been damaging and henceforth degrading at the same time, what did you really think about before you brought that pack of cancer sticks here? That you fell f for their bullshit excuse that helps you with your digestive system? It kills every lung tissue in your body, where you will no longer have a stomach tissue to help digest any food, along with your breathing, because your lung tissue dissolves to ash, from these dangerous toxins, whether they are organic or not, that is DDT, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and volatile organic compounds. Volatile organic compounds contain formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, benzene, toluene, and acetone. Cigarettes also contain criteria pollutants, and the cigarette smoke itself contains polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and the VOCs I mentioned. This is why the Surgeon General's warning on specific packs read cigarette smoking does cause cancer and others that read cigarettes may cause cancer, which is more screwed up. So what's the next excuse? They provide that money into corporate use funding the RNC, where they make dividends that go toward dirty energy, also known as fossil fuels that increase the rate of our changing climate in the NRA, where most citizens want ownership of firearms off our street, we can all do better and when we see improvement, such as wind and solar. We can seek our own personal improving areas, as to not contribute to such disgusting cancer cigarettes we put into our system. I am sorry to say this, but there is a reason why, these Jap why the Japanese are better than us. That is a correction of what is better for our digestive system. Ginger and ginger teas. If I call you guys at a bad time with my latest poem, 
Sorry, but I've been more educated since I'm a special liberal person. 